Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And he'll barrel his way into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Kareem Hunt, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Browns continue to roll. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. That time, a six-play drive. Touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. On the return, Phillips. And a good return up past the 30, but was it aided by an illegal block or a hold? Let's see. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. And now the drive starts with the completion out to the right. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Four out 10 yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. First down at the 31 yard line. They'll run here with Mixon. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Mixon, the ball carrier. Denzel Ward, the number four pick in the 2018 draft, making the tackle from his corner spot. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got a chance to pin their ears back and get after him now. Burrow getting this into the hands of Higgins. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And this is picked up by the Browns. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? The From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And the Browns first down. To throw is Watson. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Amari Cooper, 34 yards. And the forced fumble defensively leads to six points for the Browns. He's been a frequent target, and with catches like that, one-handed in the end zone, I'd keep going his way. And he's doing it every which way, isn't he? Two hands, a great return of service guy in tennis. No matter how you whack it at it, it comes back at you. In this case, he just envelops it and brings it in. Parkey with the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Bengals seven. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. On the return, Phillips. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Bengals take over first and 10. The Browns defense getting ready. And they have been popping the ball free here seemingly at every turn. I mean, let's watch all these fumbles they've created. That's really good coaching, and it's excellent execution because everyone talks now about tackling, and that second guy in, what do they want to do, partner? Scrape it loose. Scrape it loose, pop it free, and everyone's doing a really good job of that, and we're seeing it in evidence here today. They'll try to get the run game going. This is Mixon. And oh, my goodness. He loses it again. And I think the Browns got it. They did. Fumble on the play. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B. One starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Brings up second and one. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. Breaks the tackle. Now an alley. And he gets it all the way 
right down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Oh, you cream hunt. We know you've got the power. We know you've got the speed. Now how about that? Show us a little bit of that wiggle. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Kareem Hunt, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the forced fumble defensively leads to six points for the Browns. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Parkey adds the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. Now, recovered by the kicking team. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Working with second and five now. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Amari Cooper with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Browns take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. On the return, Phillips. Oh, good looking return set up here. Darius Phillips on the return. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 31. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good work. I like it now yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah, I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Seven yards there at a first down. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. On the right side, caught by Green. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. To the air again, Burrow. He's got Jack Doyle. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Oh, 
on first and 10, Joe Burrow. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. And he lost the football. And this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bounce or two there. They'll keep possession back inside the 10-yard line. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. And Burrow going to throw again. And this is going to be intercepted. That's the rookie from LSU, Grant Delpit. And he'll take it all the way up near the 30-yard line. Intercepted by the Browns. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the score five. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. A big play that time for Cleveland. 42 yards. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And that is caught, but the back judge right there to say incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Throwing now, Watson buying time to his left. The Bengal pressure gets him that time, down he goes. There's Sam Hubbard that time in there to bring him to the ground. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, and this will be caught, and the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. To Kareem Hunt. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone <laughs> could stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. But it's not just their own confidence that is leading them. It's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think, we've got no shot to beat this team. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. On the return, Phillips. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Bengals take over first and 10. At their own 30. Cincinnati set to take over once again. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take it the next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Complete to Jack Doyle. A fumble on the play. Out of bounds. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Hey, they're scared. They're scared. Burrow throw. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. A gain of a yard on the They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Today's final score. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. 
So for the Browns.